LeMay Hugh gives this one a ride into right field. Edward Olivares is back at the track. Left to play it on a hop off the wall. LeMay Hugh digs in for second with a slide. Nobody is near him. And the Yankees are off to a blistering pace that they have been maintaining all week. Been seeing. Rizzo, another drive into center field, sends Taylor back at the track, backing up to the wall. He continues, and it's gone. We mentioned the bats were hot. Taylor went up against some fans against the wall. But Anthony Rizzo, again, a three-run home run game already this week. He finds his first long ball here in the first only yesterday and at the same time that he's been here his whole career as he swats a ball out to left, and you can forget about it. Stantonian blast for Giancarlo, and it is quickly a three-run ball game here for the Yanks. Now it's gonna get uncomfortable really quick around here. We were talking about it before the game. When these guys are hot, they're the most most dangerous offense in baseball. Yeah, they have their cold streaks from time to time. Appearance for Cortez against the Royals, his second start. Hey, hey. And he wins the battle. Missed 10 games at a time from time to time, but. Salvador Perez out to left field. LeCastro is back. Out of sprint, it's a fair ball. Whit Merrifield is going to walk home. Salvador Perez had been 6 for 13 off of lefties coming in for today, and you can see exactly why. Oh, and Bobby Witt Jr. You've seen the speed. Does he have the ability to beat the Yankees out? He gets pushed off the bag. But Bobby Witt Jr. almost beat that out. This is going to be a conversation right here with Matheny. School club. Michael A. Taylor straightens this one out. Down for a base hit. Already charging around third comes Olivares. An RBI single brings the Royals within a run. And he wins the battle with Nicky Lopez to draw an end to the second. Or hit a ground ball the other way. Yeah. Well, the single error for Gleyber Torres goes for not after three. Royals trailing by a run on Friday Night Baseball. Run down, he probably should have given it up there. And then, you know, just all the momentum I saw spill off the bag and, and we got the call. All right, thank you so much. For now. Ripped off the glove of Lopez and flying in comes Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Yankees extend the lead and their first run since the beginning of this ball game. Deep drive out to right. Olivares back at the track. A look up and a bounce off the top. Aaron Judge. This one open with a three-run blast. And it is very quickly a different ball game. All New York here in the seventh. And just like that, that's how fast the game can shift. They all can hurt me. Joey Gallo pinch running, drive into left field, back at the bullpen, and it's gone. Glaber Torres gets in on the action, his second long ball of the season. Yankees opening it up by a touchdown. And Glaber been working all offseason on being more aggressive, trying to find that old version of himself. And he says, I'm going to use my legs better. I'm going to stay in my legs. I'm going to try to drive the ball. I'm going to go up there, not trying to walk. I'm going to be aggressive. If they throw it across the dish, I'm going after it. Broke this open. Ripped ground ball, past third again. Bobby Wood Jr. lays out. Two runs are home. Are they going to clear the bases? 
is yes. Three run double. Kyle Agashioka causing some damage here late in the game. Well, this is a scene that you never like to see. We knew it might be possible. We thought it might even happen before first pitch, but the grounds crew was able to play out Mother Nature until we were through eight innings tonight. Her body's gold like September. She burns through the night like an ember. And all those things we try forgetting, I remember. But we say we all fine, we all fine. Sunny day dreams and we up now. If I could lemonade, I serve it up, it goes down. 75 degrees in a dope sound. All you need to live fine, to live fine.